Hey Lindsay, it's Joseph Graham with Upshot Solutions. I finally found your website. Uh, yesterday when I was trying to type it in, it was giving me, saying like the page was offline or something weird. Okay, then uh, then I can, then I I found it. So I I believe this is it. I'm not 100 percent sure, but it might be it. Uh, so what I'm going to discuss is something called the MCMs. Okay, more calls, more sales. And the first thing, the first key element that you see right here is called the GMB, right? The GMB listing. Now, the number on your site is 808. It's the same number on this listing here. It's budget signs, and this map listing is in Arlington, Texas. Okay. The address on the site is off of 1187, which is perfectly fine, right? And then you got the actual location here, which is not in Arlington perfectly fine if you wanted to take full advantage of these GMBs you use this address create another GMB get a postcard sent to here that because these GMBs are like anchor points so when people are in Arlington searching for a sign shop they may come across your Arlington GMB this one right when people are in, are in Burleson And they're like, or Rendon. It's really like Rendon. I didn't even know this was part of Burleson right here. But uh, yeah, whenever like anyone in the area looking for a sign shop, you'll have an anchor, another anchor here, right? And it's gonna ping off a little signal in like a in a in a, in a radius for people searching, depending on how strong you make that antenna, how strong you make that GMB, right? So I would suggest just set like filling out another GMB, right? Says says right here, add your business. That's how you do it. Start it all over, okay? And my suggestion would be adding another, a secondary phone number. Each GMB needs its own phone number, okay? Awesome. So, with this current GMB, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. You guys are getting reviews, right? Um, you can also add posts to this. There's a lot you can do with these. This GMB can help make your business a lot of money and generate a lot of leads. Okay, so like if I typed in sign shop in, in, in Arlington or Burleson, right, these top three businesses, their GMBs, these are getting the most traffic. Okay, people are going to contact these two people first. Prior to the ads, prior to anything else, they're going to contact them first, right? This one here says sign shop in Arlington. A little bigger, a little bigger city, right? Here's yours right here. Okay. So when someone types in sign shop near me and not listing a specific city, whoever's around them is who they're going to click on or whoever they're going to call. So that's why I'm saying like, if you can set up more, I would do that. If you set up another one, I would definitely do that. Okay. Next is content. Content is obviously the words on your website right now this is your site I understand what you're saying now because it's like all black and white you know it's kind of like dull it's like watching a black and white movie but um you guys have pages maybe maybe not let me see okay. these are the pages that you have you have a blog That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Budget signs. Okay. I think this might be where you're trying to like shows like showcase some of your work. Here it is. Okay. Gotcha. Perfect. Now content is pretty much what the words on your website, right? So you you guys do like a bunch of a bunch of different types of signs. So you'll do, let me just, uh, channel lettering, right? Monuments, cabinet signs, magnet, car magnets for advertising. Cool stuff. You want to have like a, it's best to have like a separate page for that. So when someone is looking for like banners and decals, let's just say in Arlington or Burleson, right? A specific someone's gonna rank for that for that service right there 
Does that make sense? For every service that you have listed, someone's going to rank for it because they have more content and more details about that service. Okay? So, definitely having a, an authoritative site is definitely going to help you guys. I can, I can help put something together for you. And if you have more pictures, that always helps. Because this is a very... Um, this is like an industry or a niche where like people just want to see like your work, you know, but you still got to have the content there to, to rank for them, those keywords and services. Then you got something called citations. Okay. So when I type in your business phone number, your citations will pull up. So Chamber of Commerce, Budget Science Arlington, Spokio, White Pages, BBB. These are all Facebook. These are all citations. They're citing your business. They're citing your business name, address, and phone number, right? So if you set up a new GMB, you're definitely going to have to get some new citations, okay? And then you got something called backlinks, and this is pretty much the juice that ranks everything you have on the internet. So this is like your backlink profile. You really don't have any. Well, you got a couple. You got, you got 18 versus... Versus like a competitor. So I'm just going to choose like an organic uh, ranked company. This is obviously a big company. See how it says like location, Arlington. I don't like that. We'll just use B&G. B&G doesn't really have any links. I've already checked them out. So what I'm trying to say is like it's not going to take much for you to start dominating over these other shops. See, we got 21, 21, that's it. But they got more links uh, going out than they do in, but it's not a big deal. So anyways, without geeking out, these are the key elements to how we organically generate traffic, right? We optimize our GMB listings. There's a lot of things you can do in there. You can actually create a whole f another free site within that GMB and rank it. Uh, building content so on every service that you offer you just want to have like some content that goes behind it here's an example if I type in beer right Wikipedia pops up Wikipedia is down here as well there's a reason why Wikipedia is just like right there when you whenever you type in like certain words it's because they always have the most authoritative content so I'm not saying you have to have this much but I'm saying when you have the most authoritative and relevant content for any service that you offer you'll you'll be like Wikipedia when someone types it in it's like BAM you know that's your company right there because you have the most you became the Wikipedia for that service does that make sense and that right there itself is gonna help generate traffic because people are searching for certain signs vinyl wraps whatever it may be you want to be the one that they find because of your authoritative content, your authoritative site, you have optimized everything, okay? You mentioned you wanted to get away from budget signs, but hear me out on this. I would not change the name on this listing, okay? You keep this budget signs. You keep that phone number on there. If you're going to like try to work your way more towards Pegasus, Whenever you do rebuild the site or whatever you do with this site, that's, you can actually just, I mean, you could personally, honestly, just get a new domain. Like you could, I would, I would just leave this site, right? Just leave this site unless they're charging you an arm and a leg for, you know, the hosting. You could just leave it, get a new domain, start over from scratch. Pegasus, 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 get a new phone number, a new tracking phone number, uh, use the address and, uh, off 1187 or you can find another address in like a more populated area in Burleson and uh, use it use that for a GMB listing something of that nature but that's how I would go about uh, going from budget signs to Pegasus that's how I would do it right because this 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 budget already has history it already has a foundation it's just it's just gonna be a lead generation for you guys and now you're going to create like another brand another you know what i mean it's just going to be you're just going to re you're just going to remake it instead of redoing all of this so you you have the choice of taking it all down or just 
building again and doing it better. Okay?